from the vault. Okay, got a few things. Okay. Um, first up, uh, we are very interested in this idea of contact tracing. Yeah. Um, and location tracing. Location tracing. And we're interested in the, um, I think it's called uh, infection notification. Yeah. Uh, from Google and Apple that they have that if you're exposed to someone with COVID, yeah. it has a really uh, low level operating system, Bluetooth, low energy thing that's yeah, going yeah. on. Yeah, like yeah. It's like an advertising that yeah, changes, but it's encrypted. Yeah, and that's for public health groups and you'll probably yeah. uh, hear about that app more you've probably heard about it a lot um, what we're doing for our team and what we're in the middle of is so I'll just use an example so Lady Ada and I go to the Adafruit factory oh, every, much day, every night every day we have things that we do and yeah. we know when people are there we know when we're there and we also know if uh, one of us got ill we would want to tell every single person that we interacted with from the last week or so hey you know, one of us got ill. Now there's lots of testing, at least more testing in New York. Let's, let's say if one of us tested positive for COVID, we would be able to say, hey, uh, Janine, you were on the 7 p.m. shift yep. uh, two days ago. Um, wh one of us got tested positive. Uh, let's figure out the right protocols for you. So uh, if you have any symptoms, we, we now have contact tracing. Yeah. And that's what you hear in the news because someone – in other countries, what they do is someone will call you, talk to you. Who did you work? Who did you talk to? Who are you with? We're all these things. But we have 300 million people. We have a lot of million people here. So one of the things we built was something for Adafruit. This is private. This is for Adafruit. So let's say I get the notification. You know, you and I, we, one of us tests positive. Uh oh, I got to tell everybody. So what I can do is immediately do a data dump of where I've been for the last week. Um, I'm also adding some features. Colin and the team is doing that. Where we had my temperature log that I want to do each day. So here's um, a quick uh, video. Uh, this is uh, us just testing this out, not too far from Adafruit. And uh, this is just one of the things it does. It just keeps a log of where I was. And because I have a very specific schedule and I know everyone that I've interacted with and when, if something came up, I can dump the data log. Um, it goes to myself. And I can then match that up with my schedule and people so I can notify everybody, everybody who we interacted with. Mm. So that's uh, that's our contact tracer that we're working on. Um, next up, we are doing a uh, no-contact thermometer using Feather. And uh, we hope to have a very low-cost version that we can make lots of. Uh, here's a quick demo. First Adafruit no-contact IR thermometer test worked out. This is using Adafruit Feather. Got it done. Just some stuff we had lying around yeah. the house. There you go. Good so, stuff. Round one. Then uh, we explored the world of UVC, and yes. this video is about four minutes, so check it out. It has a lot of good information. We bought and had a bunch of things. We're working on some UVC stuff, but we wanted to test it with the real equipment that you need to test these That's things. Right. So take it away past us. Hey, Data, what is this? Hey, you cool cats and kittens. Today we're going to be testing out some UVC decontamination lights and LEDs. Uh, we picked up an X-Tech UVC light meter is SDL 470. You can pick these up at digikey.com. They're not inexpensive, but this is really the only way to get calibrated UVC light sensing. Yeah, I've seen all the online ads that everyone else has for all sorts of uh, UVC looking things. So not only are we developing uh, some at Adafruit, but we had to have this testing equipment, which we have, and we also bought ones to figure out which ones are good and which ones are not. Yeah, so. so this is the calibrated UVC sensor. So the first thing we're going to test out is this like decontamination yeah. So baggie. Yeah, you're supposed to like put your phone in it and you like, yeah. they say leave it in there for like, you know, two hours or something. Okay, so for this one, we're measuring, you know, at the bottom of the bag, kind of in the center, about 100 to 125 microwatts per centimeter squared of UVC light. And then we're going to check okay. out um, this little handheld this bulb. 11 watt. So yeah, 11 watt sterilization. Yeah. Okay. So I'll put a couple inches away. And this one is, you know, about five times as much light. It's about 500 to 600 microwatt per centimeter squared. And how long would you have to leave something in the box and then not so far to, to decontaminate? Um, okay, so looking it up, uh, the notes are for decontamination of an N95 mask, one joule per centimeter squared. Um, and then for inactivation of coronaviruses, which I don't know the difference between inactivation and decontamination, maybe just means 
they just don't function anymore, but they're still there. It's only one millijoule. So for this one, if you want to decontaminate three hours to deactivate one minute, okay. for this one to um, decontaminate, it would be um, about 30 minutes, so half an hour, and to inactivate 10 seconds. So okay. this so is this, pretty good. This is a nice wand. You would wand something over. Yeah, and you just do it continuously, yeah, making okay. sure you got 10 seconds total per, okay. per surface. All right, then we have a bigger one here. Then we have this big <laughs> one. And what's interesting is this is, um, you know, this is this holder wasn't actually meant for UVC light. So it was funny because we were like testing it and we're like, oh my God, the value is zero. But it's yeah, actually it because um, this plastic cover is UVC filtering, which is good because usually you don't okay. want to have UVC light. So okay. being very careful, don't look at this. Um, yeah. It is about, you know, 500 to 800 microwatts per centimeter. So almost a whole okay. milliwatt per centimeter. Put that on okay. immediately. Okay, and then yeah. you have a couple other options. Then these are the, um, these are the UVC LEDs. We're experimenting with a lot of these. Um, this is one type and one model. Yeah. And uh, we're not happy with the performance yet, but we need to figure out some stuff. So yeah. this one... Uh, look how close we are. So getting it. really close, it's really only close. like 65. So it's yeah. half as strong as even this like decontamination bag for iPhones. Yeah. And this is a lot more expensive. Yeah. So, you know, I'm not really convinced by UVC LEDs. I mean, these bulbs are easily available and oh, they're expensive. Yeah. If you get a real UVC bulb, it seems like, you know, they're quite powerful. Even ones that are meant for, you know, this is for aquariums. Yeah. And then finally, you got this right. like disco so, light. So this is what you see everywhere. They're and and they you know they charge twenty bucks or whatever. And a lot of people um, I've seen photos online where they're like, I have this, and you know they put it on top of their like shoe rack or something like that. This does absolutely nothing. Zero, zero. It's a it's a purple light. Zero, zero. This does zero. No, this has no zero. UVC yeah. light coming from. It's great so, for your black light room. Yeah. It's great if you want to find stains on your white sheets, I guess, yeah. but it is not useful so, for decontamination. So this one, you can do some things. So here we go, look, it goes up to, you know, if you get really close. You really close. touch it. Really oh, touch it's so it. close. Yeah. It's like 2,000. Yeah. Well, it even changes units. It's like up to a, a milliwatt. Of course yeah. you want it to be a little far away. Yeah. But then I think this one is, this one's really good. And these bulbs are not too expensive. You know, they're only, um, yeah, they're only like 20 bucks a piece. So this one, it can go up to two. So you're really close. Three. Yeah. yeah. So. Right, let's put this back on. Stay safe. Okay. All right. So Thank don't you. look at the bulbs. Yeah. But now you know the secret of UVC decontamination bulbs versus yeah. LEDs. We're learning a lot too. So we'll post more as we learn more. All right. And just a little bit of recap. Yeah. The UVC LEDs have a huge heat sink. Um, the purple light, you know, you want that one to work because it looks cool. Yeah. It's like, boy, that'd be great if that purple light did something. Yeah, nothing. It does nothing. It, the goggles, they do nothing. Um, also, Philby is working on some cool stuff. This is an amazing light painter that's powered by Circuit Python. Um, and then I want to talk a little bit about one of our next big projects that we're going to try to do. Um, we want to get everyone who needs a mask in New York City a mask. Um, and we're just gonna bypass all the things that is hard for people, like logos. <laughs> we already have one. Um, nice logo there. Yeah, so Thanks, Bruce. NYC Makes Mass is what we're calling this. So um, during this entire crisis, a lot of things we didn't have. And according to- Like elastic, but now we have a lot. <laughs> well, according to a lot of people who do this for a living, virologists, yeah. infectious disease specialists, there's a good chance we're gonna be back to uh, dealing Here. with this in yeah. September. And, uh, I, you know, it'll take me a long time to process. I'm still trying to keep it all together and help as much as I can. After this, I'm just going to, like, need a week to just, like, think about what happened. But we didn't have a lot of things we needed. And we kept running into roadblocks. And I say we as a community and a society mm -hmm. and as a group of people in New York. Um, the supply chains started to close down. Being able to get things like masks, mm -hmm. simple masks. These used to be 30 cents. Now they're like $5 each. Yeah. So there's so many things that we said, okay, let's do what we can with what we have now. Um, New York City needed face shields. We stopped everything, pivoted, 
ha- became an essential business for not only ventil- like ventilator, five days. yeah, not yeah. only for like ventilator components and things that other groups needed um, because we have the manufacturing capability, but also face shields. But one of the things we don't have is uh, masks. And uh, we need masks in New York City. These are the blue surgical ones. These are things like the fabric masks, the fabric filtering masks. ones, These whatever. are things Something. Like in the N95 world. Um, so what we're going to try to do is a fundraise. And you're probably saying, well, why don't you just ask like one of these like rich VCs or these oligarchs that have billions of dollars that always say, I want to change the world. Especially um, ones who funded companies that based their hardware off of our hardware. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. Um, I spent the weekend talking to all of them, and uh, they're not going to do it. Nope. So um, I, I think I understand the reason they want to work on a vaccine. They want to they want to deploy it on blockchain or something. Um, but the thing that we know is every person needs a mask. So other countries, when you go into the subway, you can get a mask. When you get out of the subway, you can get a mask. When you go to work, you get a mask. In New York City, there's dog parks everywhere. Someone has a job where they put in the little blue bags to put dog poop in we figure this out and so i want to make sure everyone has a mask around uh new york city yeah there shouldn't be anyone who doesn't have a mask the cloth ones they're fine but people have to remember to wash them they have to do things if you look at countries specifically in asia who's had to deal with this there's face masks everywhere and they're manufactured there and so what we're trying to do take is... Take all the money that, we're, that we have raised by, with, the, with the plastic bag ban. Sure. And then we can... Sure. Put, so you can spend that money on getting people back. So we have a loan request from our bank, Chase. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got back to us today. They said, look, we're doing all this PPP loan stuff. We'll get to you when we can. Yeah. We're talking to other financial institutions. Um, I, what, and I'll, I'll tell you why we're trying to get a loan. Um, the machines go from $500,000 to $5 million. Uh, we think we can do this for $800,000. Sounds like a lot. It's not. Every single one of our machines at Adafruit is over a million dollars that makes, you know, com- that makes, puts the components on circuit boards. For us, this is like, this is normal. $800,000 would be a deal for a yeah. machine for us. Um, but this one specifically makes mass. First, it would be 10000 a day, then 20000 and then we'd be able to do a million a week. Yeah. And if we really are serious about reopening the economy, everyone needs a mask. We don't have a vaccine. We don't have millions of people tested every day. Everyone who's going to have to go to work, essential workers who are going to work, we all need masks. They need to be so prevalent so that you don't even need to think about it. Um, and then there's a lot of underprivileged communities. There's a lot of um, homeless. There's a lot of people that are just never going to have them, and we have to make that happen. So that's going to be an effort. Um, we're going to change our site so we can have like a GoFundMe-like section. We're going to talk to people who said, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to help. Um, if we have plan A, plan B, plan C, if we can't manufacture them, no problem. We're an importer of goods. We will continue to buy hundreds of thousands of masks. Uh, we have some on and the way right them, now. Like we have been doing. And, and donate them. And exactly. So um, that is that is one of our goals. Uh, a mask for every person. We're calling it NYC Makes Mask. We want to have the manufacturing capability. So in September, if we're back to this again, there's no like, what about, where's the mask? Are they in China? Where are they? Oh, they're stopped at the border. Oh, no, they're commandeered. Oh, no. If this is this is something we can make here. Um, so that's our big plan. That's top secret. You'll hear about it more soon. Back in the vault. Okay. Uh-